the latest in ski and snowboard equipment brought to you by Rhythm Rentals. So how do you choose the right bindings for your skis? Now a binding is what connects your boot to the ski so that you don't fall out when you're skiing. Bindings typically start as an alpine binding and we have DIN settings. DIN settings are what allow you to come out of the ski easily or not as much depending on what you're doing. If you're a beginner, you typically have a lower DIN, uh, which means that on the baby slopes, if you're coming down and you have a little fall, you're gonna come out of your ski easy so you don't injure your knees because a knee injury is so common for skiing. You wanna crank those DINs up though if you're gonna come down the mountain uh, faster at higher speeds, because otherwise you'll pop out too easily and you'll lose your skis possibly. <laughs> Something with a DIN of 12 is more than okay for a lot of skiers. But if you're going to be doing more aggressive skiing, you want something like the Mark of Griffin, which has got a DIN of 13, and that's more than enough for most people. Next up, there's some touring bindings. And that's now if you're at an advanced level and you want to go hiking in the backcountry, and you have a boot like Dalbella Lupo with the tech fittings. Now these fit into the pin system uh, on the binding and allow your heel to lift up and out of the ski so you can walk up the mountain easily. There's also risers that flick up so that when you're going up a higher gradient mountain, you're gonna be walking a lot easier. And lastly, we have the Alpine binding, which is, this is basically the Griffin that we showed earlier, but the toe piece can lift out of here. So you can put the toe piece in your bag for a nice lightweight touring binding but then you can have the ease of an alpine binding for when you're riding down the hill after, after your day. And now you're set up for skiing. For all your ski and snowboard equipment needs, visit the snowshow.tv forward slash ski equipment.